You're not serious. There's no way. No one can be that stupid. Oh? Are you actually going to do it? Come on. Do it. I dare you. <laughs> what a shit. They went over that first a couple days ago during prayer, didn't they? What was that? Race him with a bounty of venison and veal. Vegetables aren't either of those. And I don't care if your crops were plentiful this year. I asked for one or two things and somehow you can't even manage that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Go and pray for good weather. I don't mind more target practice. Just get out already. No one wants to hear that other than you. You're not impressing anyone. Especially not me. Hurry it up. You are wasting everyone else's day away. Why don't you let someone else find a reason to make me hate them? Oh my. Now look at this. You had better not walk any closer than that. Must be great thinking that you're blessed and that your head is closer to the realm of gods than most people. You've got guts being above those who are of higher standing than you. Maybe you should get on your hands and knees and crawl. <laughs> Pray the mother you have in your next life spares you of the audacity to grow that tall. Come on, hurry it up. I don't want you squirming around the floor any more than you do. A little more, and maybe we can let someone else through the door. On second thought, maybe you should have taken a little longer. Well, hello there, Miss Goddess of... What was it again? Oh, yes. Goddess of twigs. Did the big man send you all the way here to get after me? Does wifey already want a replacement? Well, they look like twigs to me from all the way up here. But call them whatever you want, I suppose. Maybe on a good day they look like vegetables but not trees. Put a little effort into your work and you might convince me. Well, you're not convincing me now. And I also doubt you're going to convince me of anything Mr. High and Mighty wrote down for you to read to me about not being the good boy like I'm supposed to be. Just get on with it. The sooner you get your spiel done, the faster we can go back to doing what we do best. Hopefully, he at least gave you something a little different to work with. Wifey seems to love repeating the same words verbatim like neither of us have heard them before. Joy, I finally get a complaint that isn't pre-written for someone else to read off of. Did all those bandits ransacking my land come from yours? Did they tell you about how I gave them all those shocks 
because they couldn't steal what they wanted from me? Or are we getting some prayers your way from the ones who are too stupid to figure out how to please me when it's shoved in their faces every day? That must be a lot of people talking about me. Hold on. I need to compose myself before I can deal with all this newfound... Popularity. Oh, if that's the case, then sit back and watch me zap a few more idiots who think just because the meat I want used to come from something that ate grass doesn't mean I want grass too. Oh, now we have issues, huh? Well, isn't it just too bad that some people think they can stand taller than a god? Why don't you blame them for trying to get closer to the stars when it's not their place to be? This is why I hate the big man and his stupid matchmaker parties. If my parents weren't desperate to not be wallflowers, I might have actually been as tall as him, or even more. <laughs> could have saved a few extra lives too if he wasn't so pushy about having every possible god for every little thing that he doesn't feel like doing himself. Lazy bastard. Even better. Not having to deal with these idiots makes for a much better deal. Maybe staying a twinkle in my dad's eye would have given me a much more... fulfilling existence. No, here we go. Is it really that time again? You know what? You almost had me there for a second. I actually thought at least one of you had the decency to come up with complaints for yourself. But I guess you all really are his lapdogs, huh? Tell him that unless he wants another me running around causing chaos everywhere, he might want a second guess making everyone procreate. It's his fault if a lot of things go wrong then. Hope he knows that. Well, he's got his work cut out for him finding someone I can tolerate and who can tolerate me. Because frankly... I don't make compromises. If he can't, then I'm perfectly fine living the bachelor life like I always have. The world hasn't completely disintegrated after all these years of me skipping out. So what did he do to drag you into this? Or did you owe him something? Because if you do, you're getting off the hook very lightly. Unless this is a lot worse than I think it is. You had better not get your hopes up if you expect doing him any favors will get you anything that's worth it. He'll make you pay way more than he'll give back. Oh, how kind of you to volunteer your efforts then. Maybe someone will find it cute enough to consider spending at least a few centuries with you. Don't we all wish, right? But a couple of nice things here and there aren't going to get you through years of being tied at the ankles. Wouldn't want to be in that sad little group of divorcees that always get picked last, if at all. Well, good for them. Maybe there is a person for everyone. But what does that mean for me, huh? If all the desperate ones have gotten their happy endings, what do I get? Are you here to hand me the bottom of the barrel? Oh, you shouldn't have. Tell me, who's the unfortunate sap 
that gets to be pawned off on me. <laughs> now it makes sense. Must suck to suck, huh? Probably should have spent the last couple of centuries building a personality worth sticking around in eternity for. Maybe make up for that in the next few while you wait for another chance. Open your mouth next time then. I hear that helps getting people to like you, so long as you're not insufferable. I would know. Well, not all of us get what we want sometimes. We may never even get it at all. A decent spouse is one of those. Welcome to the club, Twiggy. Grab some drinks and accept that everything is a disappointment. Well, you've already heard what you need to do for next time. Maybe whoever you wanted will be single again by the time you are actually ready. Hilarious. Did you forget that I can't stand desperation? We don't need another situation like my parents. Otherwise, you end up with a problem child like me. Unless you've been watching every move I make, I highly doubt you're asking me for any other reason than you got the short end of the stick. Yeah, no. I don't want to hear it. Save us both the embarrassment in front of a bunch of mortals. Yeah, so head back home, do your thing, and let me do mine. I kind of want to see if someone actually got me what I asked for for once. The longer it takes me to get it, the more upset I'll be. And the longer you stand there, the more you'll have to deal with that. You don't want that for eternity now, do you? Well, you can think that over elsewhere, not here. Just don't get your hopes up. I live and breathe disappointments.